Hi friends, I decided today elaborate on the topic of pepsin because my client June asked me when we talked about pepsin, I said, I'm not concerned about pepsin. I'm concerned about acid reflex. John has laryngopharyngeal reflux and he feels a lot of burning and um, dryness here in the mouth and the posterior throat. So, but I want to, talk, to tell you why I'm not concerned about pepsin. Let's look at the pepsin. Pepsin is made in the stomach. It's actually a protein. Uh, it's, it's made as a pepsinogen in active form, but in a acidic environment that created by hydrochloric acid, pepsinogen in the stomach converted into pepsin active form and remains active in the environment, in acidic environment, which is between 1.5 and 2. It's become inactive when the pH rise about 6. Also, you need to know that environment here in the mouth determines by saliva and acidity of saliva between 6.3 and 7.3. Also, pulmonary tree and bronchial tree have neutral environment. So when John wants me to talk about pepsin, I refuse to do so because if he is telling me that he has a lot of burning sensation here in the posterior uh, mouth, in posterior throat, and damage to vocal cord because of pepsin, I said, no, pepsin is the secondary. Something created this acidic environment right here on the top of your mouth and in your mouth that allow pepsin to remain active. And what is that? It's a hydrochloric acid. So I want to address acid reflex, actually, rather than talk about the pepsin. So that's it for today, guys. I am done with the explanation. However, the by the way, that was my contact information. If you feel that you need more explanation, let's go to the Blackboard and the rest of the video uh, for people who are actually interested to know more about how pepsin works and the effect of uh, pepsin on the digestive tract. Okay, let's go. As always, I already pre-draw my favorite picture of the digestive tract. This is the mouth with the teeth. Food goes here. Saliva is here, creating neutral environment, pH between um, 6.3 and 7.3 here in the posterior mouth. And bronchial tree, tree also is neutral here. So this is esophagus, and this is the low esophageal sphincter. Here is the hydrochloric acid in the stomach, HCl which creates pH acidic environment of two here in the stomach. Here is the pilarus, and pilarus opens and closes on the concentration gradient, meaning when you have pH two here and pH here in the small intestine neutral, pH seven, pilarus get open like that, food will go here, pH seven, created here in the small intestine by the digestive juices that come from the liver. Uh, bile is a, uh, has a neutral pH. P stays for the pancreas. Pancreas will produce pancreatic enzymes and digestive juices. They will contribute to a neutral pH and also enzymes that work here in the small intestine and excrete here in the small intestine juices and for the small intestine, they also neutral. So they create a neutral environment. So as soon as neutral environment, pH seven created here, pH two here in the stomach, pillars get open, food moves here together with hydrochloric acid and pepsin. In this neutral environment, pepsin get immediately neutralized. But it does not mean that digestion of meat, fish, eggs, and other uh, proteins stops right here. No, please recall I have a video on the topic of pancreatic uh, uh, enzymes, P stands for pancreas, and the one of the enzymes that produced by pancreas called um, protease, protease, and the protease will continue to digest protein right here in the small intestine to make sure that we create 
amino acids and only amino acids gets absorbed. So pepsin is inactive here in the small intestine. Now, if you assume that pepsin is here in the posterior throat and creates the damage in the posterior throat, mouth, and the pulmonary tree, then it means that pepsin is active right here. And as I said previously, it's a physiology. Uh, pH here in the posterior throat and pulmonary tree is not acidic. It's between 6.3 and 7.3. Yes, you can. there are conditions where you can swing pH here a little bit more into acidic, like 6.2, 6.1. They are uh, Sjogren syndrome. People who have this autoimmune condition, they produce less saliva. As a result, less saliva. As a result, environment here acidic. Also, um, adults and kids who eat a lot of sugar, like you see the kids chewing lollipop, this is the acid. That's what is damaging the, 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 uh, the, the teeth, creates gingivitis. So all of these sugars that people eat, the white bread, um, juices, soft drinks, so they, uh, they also will swing a little bit pH into acidic here, but they never going to switch it into pH2. So we need to assume that in this pH, in the posterior throat and in pulmonary system, uh, pepsin, as soon as it gets here, it's supposed to be neutralized. If you say saying to me, no, it's not getting neutralized and it probably creates a damage, then my next question for you is, why it is not neutralized? Probably because you have a acidic environment. Why do you have a acidic environment here in the posterior throat? Probably because of the acid coming here. If the acid is coming here and creating a acidic environment, then it's um, good. It's acid reflux. Let's fix the acid reflux. You can see that pepsin here in the posterior throat is the secondary problem. The first problem is not pepsin. The first problem is acid. And on my channel, I have several videos, like, for example, one on the topic of eight most common prob uh, causes of acid reflux. So let's look at that. Let's try to fix the acid reflux. And then the pepsin problem will el evaporate. So my question becomes, um, is it um, hiatal hernia? Is that you don't activate parasympathetic system and uh, don't create uh, adequate pH in your digestive tract? Is this problem with the small intestine? Is this problem with the constipation? Is this problem with irritable bowel syndrome? So why is that food is not moving down there and it moves up here to, to create environment for the pepsin to work here? Let's address acid reflux once again. Okay, now you understand my point, All right? So I'm not concerned about pepsin. I'm concerned about acid reflux. So if you have any questions, ask me here. All relevant information in the description below. Like, subscribe, and bye for now.